I'm Presley Ryan, I'm 16 years old, I play Lydia in Beetlejuice the Musical, and this is what a day in my life looked like before Broadway closed down due to the coronavirus pandemic. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, be a Being a teenager on Broadway is definitely very different from doing it as an adult, for sure. Mia! I go to school five days a week. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Showtime. This is amazing. I'm actually the only kid in this show. Definitely still get nervous. Being this role, it's literally a dream come true. I've always wanted to be a leading lady on Broadway. It's time for a show. Hey guys. It's 7.30, I just woke up at 7, and I'm headed to school, and my first stop of the day is Starbucks. I got my very, very hibiscus, and I'm headed to school. On Wednesday, I usually go to bed at midnight, or one o'clock if I'm feeling risky. But on other nights when we have earlier shows, I'll usually go to bed around 11.30. Most of my castmates definitely get to sleep in, so I'm definitely jealous of them. I actually go to a performing arts school in the city, so I take singing classes there, acting classes, dancing lessons. Hi! <laughs> Usually when I get ready for school, I'm thinking about all the things that I need to do during the day and what I have. So if I have homework or if I have an assignment in school and what time the show is at that day. Usually those are like the things that I think about the most. I took the PSATs on Wednesday last week. You're supposed to take it cold, so you don't really prepare. It's kind of just like to see where you're at with everything. So I took the test, and then I had to leave early for my matinee, so I just bumbled a bunch of random answers and left. Wednesday, we have two shows, so I go to school in the morning, and then I'll leave early. I usually don't have that much time to do my homework, but my teachers are really good about letting me make it up and be late with it, which is actually great. She's really committed to being a good student, so her personality and uh, will to do well always translates. I try to do it during the show, usually during intermission, and sometimes when I get home after the show, I'll do it then. This is my first class of the day, Humanities. I'll see you guys later. You're swagger, and you're wearing, and it's just the right clothes you're wearing, your short hair. I was 12 years old when I made my Broadway debut in Fun Home. Since I was little, I've always really enjoyed theater and performing on stage. When I was little, I took an acting class at my mom's friend's acting studio. One day she told me that I should audition for a Broadway show, so I did. And I actually got a call back, and then we were like, oh, this is actually something that I could maybe start doing. since then I've been doing this. It's 1.18, I just finished school and now I'm headed to dance. This is my friend Brooklyn, um, we do theater together and we always walk to dance class together. I've told Presley and a lot of the kids that the days are long and I don't find any difference professionally than what they're dealing with. So I think it's, even though they're very young, it is kind of good practice for what they're gonna have to juggle professionally. If this is the field you're choosing, you do have to kind of do a lot of things at once. Before I auditioned for this, I actually watched the movie to refresh and remember it. Hey, these aren't my rules. Come to think of it, I don't have any rules. When I was little, I used to watch the movie with my family, and anytime that my brothers would say Beetlejuice, 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 I would get so scared. It's showtime. It used to terrify me, and I had nightmares about it. For my audition, I sang the Girl Scout song, I sang Dead Mom, and I did some scenes. Hurry up, be happy, you 
I auditioned for the lab originally, and then I ended up getting it for the DC out of town try, and then I came to Broadway. It's definitely been a dream come true of mine to be a part of such a big Broadway show like this. I was definitely really excited when I found out that I'd be playing Lydia full time. A couple weeks ago, I was playing the jockey and I understudied Lydia. <laughs> Lydia is a strange and unusual teenager. She moves to a new house and she meets Beetlejuice and it's about her story and finding home and finding family. Live people ignore the strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. People can relate to Lydia because like, she's a teenager, she's going through a rough time and she's just a very relatable character. I relate to Lydia because I'm a teenager, of course, so there's definitely things that I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this, or I get annoyed sometimes. So while I was on the subway, a girl came up to me and she's like, wait, were you in, are you in Beetlejuice? You play Lydia? And I was like, yeah, it's me. And she's coming to the show tonight, actually, so that's really cool. It's so cool to meet all the fans. It happens pretty often. It happens around once a day. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it happens in weird places. It's three o'clock and I have physical therapy now. Hi. Hi, welcome. All right, how are you feeling today? Um, I feel good. 10 shows in a row, 10th show tonight. Yes, crazy. A lot of neck tension, different things that come with singing a role like this. They kind of like relieve like all of the tension that I have from singing and they like open everything up, it's amazing. For Presley, we basically work out any restrictions um, that she has in her neck or her upper body um, just to lead to a more optimal performance vocally and otherwise. Her costumes are heavy, performing on a rape stage and singing as much as she does eight times a week. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday! I'm a teenager and a lot of our fans are actually teenagers so it's cool to like see somebody their age doing like what they want to do eventually and I'm really grateful that like I've inspired people. What's the big deal? Some of my role models are definitely Leslie Kritzer, she's amazing, she's so talented and also Carrie Butler, she's amazing. I mean I look up to everybody. Alex Brightman, he plays Beatles, he's... We were talking about a lot of things that kids do and different slang terms that we say these days. And he asked me about TikTok and I told him and I was like, oh, we should make one. Beetlejuice. Yes. Beetlejuice. Yes. Oh, wow, this is going to be so good. Me, Alex Brightman, and Dana Steingold, we made a TikTok backstage in the vocal booth, which is actually where I sing a lot off stage. And we actually had a lot of fun doing it. Over time, my TikToks have definitely gained a following. Act one done. Wake off. Going home. It's really cool to see that like we have so many fans like from TikTok that don't even know like what Beetlejuice is because I'll be on the street and I'll hear somebody like, oh my god, that's the TikTok show. <laughs> Definitely like a different kind of fan base that Broadway's ever experienced before because this is a new thing, but I think it's really exciting. It's 425 right now and we're headed uptown so I can go to Westerly and get some supplements and different things for my show. Here are some of the things that I get if I get. Coconut water, pineapple, gets rid of um, all of the mucus that I have and it helps me sing better. So I get an immune shot, can't get sick. This yogi tea, it's throat comfort, it's amazing. I have it before every show. And I get a dark chocolate for a post-show treat. What I usually eat before a show typically depends on the day and what I'm feeling in the mood for. It's 4.50, I just got all my groceries, and now I'm gonna go warm up for the next hour. See ya. It's six o'clock, I just picked up some soup, and I'm ready to do a show. Being a 
only kid in the show is definitely very different. Pick up some fan mail. This is all of our fan art. And this is my dressing room. I like to come in about an hour to 45 minutes before the show. When we started the show, I was under 16 years old, I was 15. So I actually had to have a wrangler backstage who would kind of come with me everywhere I went because I wasn't allowed to be back here without an adult. Here's some pictures, my fridge. Um, we have some Beetlejuice souvenirs and stuff like that. I actually have this big bag of like fan art and different things and fan mail that I actually have to send back to people. So hopefully I'll do that soon. And we got some candy. Now that I'm 16, I can be back here on my own, but everybody treats me like I'm an adult, which is nice. These are some of my costumes that I wear. Um, this is the Lydia funeral dress that I wear in the beginning of the show. And this is the iconic Lydia dress that I wear throughout the remainder of the show. This is my pure mist. I use it before every show. It's really good for your voice. I definitely still get nervous. Not as nervous as I used to be in the beginning, but there are still different moments in the show where it, like different nerves just come through my body and I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I was nervous and now I am. I actually put lucky pennies inside of my boots and I wear them throughout the entire show because I'm a very superstitious person and I feel like it's good luck. I want other teens to know that I'm just a regular teen too. There are definitely a lot of things that I want to do in the future. I definitely want to be in a TV show or a movie or I don't really know because I'm young so I haven't really like made plans really. I'm still discovering who I am and what I want to do. It's 7 o'clock and it's time for a show. Bye! Thanks for watching! So the day that we filmed turned out to be the last performance of Beetlejuice for now. I'm at home now with my family and I'm doing online school and I've been FaceTiming with the cast on Saturday nights via Zoom calls. And I miss all the fans and I miss connecting with you all and I hope that everybody's staying safe and healthy during this time. <laughs>